What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Southern Life. And Katie. Welcome to the east side of Birmingham, Alabama. We're kind of in the East Lake, um, east of the airport, east side of Birmingham, Alabama, basically. There's a bunch of neighborhoods over here off 83rd and 85th. Um, Birmingham, Alabama, as you guys know, is one of the most dangerous cities in the country by murder rate. So we got to be on alert, make sure we're not, you know, while we're doing this video, driving through residential neighborhoods that we're kind of paying attention to our surroundings and not doing anything to stand out or anything like that because it is very dangerous in the city. But nonetheless, uh, it is a city that loves our channel. So if you're from Birmingham and uh, you're here with us today, I want to thank you for being with us. Uh, the views on our videos are incredible. We get a lot of views from Birmingham. All of our Birmingham videos to this day have been a success. Last month I did a Birmingham video, got 12,000 views. So uh, it's a very popular city on our channel. And um, it's got about 99 neighborhoods, so we haven't been able to cover all of them. Uh, there's also a little bit of contrast where some neighborhoods are kind of hood, some neighborhoods are kind of nice. So there's a lot of different stuff in the city. And I try to show the hoods and I also try to show the nice stuff to give you guys kind of a, a complete understanding of the city. Um, so welcome to Birmingham and like I said today's the east side we've done the west the east and north the south everything uh, the suburbs as well showing the nice stuff so we're not just showing you guys the hoods we've kind of done a really good job of showing pretty much everything um, today we're on the east side these are just regular I guess inner city neighborhood so it could be kind of hood it could be kind of we'll figure it out uh, Birmingham does have the third highest murder rate in the country so we got to be on alert make sure we don't draw attention to us because it's a very dangerous city um, but again the love that we've gotten out here with our videos has been incredible and in support so i'm always glad to do videos for a city where they appreciate what we do um, a lot of places they get offended oh why are you showing the hood we show everything we show the hood we show the nice stuff so um, so today we're kind of in a more inner inner city neighborhood Go explore. Uh, we're on first. <sighs> Dang it, Katie. Yeah. We're on first right now near the airport. You can see the airplane landing right there. So the airport's right behind us. Flock of pigeons up there. Pigeons are always in the hood. We accept EBT. That's how you know you win the hood. Uh -huh. the, like, forget. I don't even. The, the, the we accept EBT sign is bigger than like the business name sign. They have metal bars and stuff. No, they're not metal bars. Dang. Doing it right. Let's hit that one. I'll get Bobby, eh? She's about to win. Okay, can I see the maps? Of course. So, yeah, buddy. I want to take 85th down real quick. So, yeah, we're, we're going to show you guys just kind of all over the city. I mean, um, now Birmingham is a city we've gotten a lot of love from on our videos. So, it's always, like I said, it's really fun to go to a city where um, you know, you're getting love and support when you do your videos. I want to run back over to here because there's a store called El Girasol, which is, this area is protected by Neighborhood Watch. All right, so they have a Neighborhood Watch here. Neighborhood going to watch you get shot. They're looking, they're watching us. <laughs> So yeah, um, oh, sorry bro, my bad. There's actually a golf course here called Roebuck. I got a subscriber, he's been trying to tell me, go to Roebuck, go to Roebuck. I'm like, I want to. There's a lot of ground to cover, guys. A lot of support and a lot of subscribers making requests, so it's hard to do it all. Got some graffiti right here. Looks like it's just regular, regular tagging. Kind of looks a little rough on this end. So we can hop on over to the other side here. Not a lot of traffic. That's always good. Is that a golf course? Show is. is a golf course or cemetery? Show is. It's a golf course. Litter, that's usually a bad sign, litter like that. So 
like there's some streets in here way in the back. Let's see what we got here. This is, uh, I think this is called South Roebuck. It's kind of hood, I'm going to just say that right there. It's pretty hood out here. I love these houses though. Look at that. Big front porches. This was a really nice neighborhood in its day. It's kind of taking a turn for the hood recently. I mean, there's a little much litter they got on the side of the road. Yeah, this is about this alumi. Um, I'm going to explore. I love how it contrasts from like hood to kind of like historic. You can tell like some of these houses back in the day, this was a really nice neighborhood back in the day. Narrow road. So we can take this one here. Too much litter. That's so we've got houses litter. from the hood historic. Yeah, this is definitely here. hood historic right here. No doubt about that. Birmingham is a very diverse city as far as like landscape and all that. There's a lot going on in Birmingham. You got all these different stuff. Wow, that is a lot of litter. Hangout spot right there looks pretty deep. Let's kind of roll this way. Tell a little tiny little shotgun house. We're on Second Avenue North. I love the Bronco and the carport right there. I love it. Yeah, it's very hood historic for sure. You have historic and hood. Wow, look at that, man. Look at that, Rosemary. Dang, I ain't been to the place this trashy since since I went in Florida. There's junk everywhere. This is a scrapper right here. Esto esto es lo tiene cara de hispano. I like that. I like que todo el mundo ya raro. Aquí tiene que haber mucho hispano, yo creo. Esta barrio tiene cara de hispano, eh. Sí, está, está llamado de esto. Tiene cara de barrio hispano esto. Uh -huh. Hay una tienda cerquita que se llama el girasol. Aquí tiene que haber un barrio hispano. I wonder if this area is black or Spanish. Maybe it's white, who knows? <laughs> it's a white hood. Um, kind of deep out here. I paid a lot of attention in this neighborhood, in this city. Be ready to just step on the gas and fly at any moment. No solo la gente se va a tu salón. I love the old trucks. Yeah, this ain't Montgomery. That's waving at people. Like, yeah, don't wave at them if they don't wave at you. If they, see, if they salud, entonces pues salud para acá, pues entonces salud, no salud. Makes no sense. I'm trying to go over there to a girasol. A little Spanish store. Este barrio tiene cara como que mucho pan, okay? Sí. I know there's trailer parks on the on the northeast side of Birmingham that have a lot of Spanish people. Spanish people like neighborhoods like this for some reason. Aquí no tiene sentido que se llama Girasol. Bienvenido a Girasol. Girasol mexicana. Mexicana. Tienda mexicana. Tiene esto aquí, the doors. Dang it, Katie. Yeah, I know. Have you been tested? Huh? Have you been tested? It's a long way, I can't go that way. So I like that little alleyway right there. So now we're kind of behind East Lake. Let's go up in here. How much hate to eat okay? A lot of Spanish people. Let's see, what's La basura donde queda tirada son hispanos. Oye, mi madre, tú sabes lo que, que, que todas las nacionalidades que hay en este país, todas las variedades de gente en este país. 
Me tengo que ir a un barrio, diga, son hispanos por los churrosos que está el barrio. Eso va a pena. I'm probably say this in English. I think that as a Latino, it's embarrassing that you can drive into a neighborhood and tell that the neighborhood's Latino simply because of how filthy the neighborhood is and how trashy it looks. That's just embarrassing. And I'm a Latino saying that about my own people. It is embarrassing. See, on the northeast side, there's a lot of Spanish people who get afuera. I like the houses on what is a lot me like with hood places. Stop that hood. Hood though. Gente en basura tiene en la frente de esa casa. Muy bien, cosa frente. Very interesting neighborhood. I love it. Mm. I love it. I like this area a lot. Got all like the type of hood vibes I like a neighborhood to have. Okay, got people out by the road. Okay. Mira gente en la cara. I gotta put K in the front seat. That is way too draws too much attention. Oh, look at all the Canada geese, baby. Okay. Nice, baby. Got some hype, puppy. I love that. And then they got like a mountain view on the other side. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah. They got a lake. a lake with a mountain view and everything. That's nice. Hundreds of Canada geese. Yeah, hundreds of Canada geese. This is so good out here. Look at this. So run down and hood. I love it. Yeah. Old houses. Can you imagine what this neighborhood would have been like when they first built it? Oh I'm gosh. sure it was a nice neighborhood when they first built it. Before I got covered with work vans and little bars. Yeah. Land Rover. Wanna be a Land Rover. So we're kind of on the east north like I don't like that people are noticing us. Yeah. That makes me feel uneasy. There's Spanish people right there. <coughs> mucho, 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 mucho. reminds me of the neighborhood no. my great grandparents lived in. Aquí no hay game. Guatemala, Salvadoreño, Hondureño. And it was a gorgeous neighborhood. No. I'm Hispanic and Negro. I don't have a lot of blanco. I'm not Hispanic. Yes, but they're not Mexican. They're Hondureño, Salvadoreño. Okay. 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 Okay, so that car that notices is right behind us. That Yukon? That Yukon we saw earlier is right behind us. And he's, he's swinging. He's swinging. He's gonna pass us. This shit ain't good. He's gonna. He's, he's boxing us in. Not good at all. Not sure what the problem is, but this ain't good. Why is he doing that, bro? I'm gonna get in the store. If he does anything crazy, be crazy. Be careful. This car is following us. Be careful. They're definitely scoping us out. It's all good, bro. No problem, man. They're definitely scoping us out. This ain't good. This is not good at all. God, that's scary. They're definitely scoping us out. Not good at all. God, my heart's thumping. You're definitely... We're, you don't know how close we were for getting in. in the, see, this city's dangerous. This city is super, super dangerous. I should be in the front seat. You should be. He, he looks at people and stares people down and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We lose red rounds. We can't have them in here. Yeah. It's different when you have a white woman in the front seat when you have a guy like him. I just look like Karen, so. Yeah, yeah. That was really dangerous. You know they had their guns out, right? Yeah. This city is super dangerous, guys. What we do here and the, with these videos is super, super dangerous. Cop right there. And don't think the cops are going to save you in the, in the hood. Oh, this is hood out here. Look how many people are hanging out here. Unbelievable. This spot, this spot is deep. What part of the city we're in right now? Papi, no puedes mirar la gente. Cuando pasamos a esa gente, los miraste y nos cayeron atrás. Hola, gente. Mini 
cuánto te diste, pero te hiciste, algo. Te hiciste algo un poquito peligroso. Cuando pasamos las, los carros, la gente que estaba afuera no miraste la cara, no le miró la cara a nadie. Cuando pasaste las casas allá, que estaba la gente afuera, no miraste la cara a la gente. Y nos pasamos tan un carro a seguir. Tienes que tener mucho, mucho cuidado. Lo que piensan que es policía. Los policías o pandilleros o otra cosa, tú no puedes hacer eso. Ay, no, eso bueno, que tienes que tener mucho, mucho cuidado. No mires la gente en la cara. Cuando hacemos estos videos, tenemos que poner aquí delante y tú atrás. Es tener la pistola lista para. Si, 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 si nos dotamos, nos, nos iban a disparar. Esto está peor que la americana. Esto está aquí. Estos lugares están peligrosos. Hay unos so hood out here. This is really, really hood out here. We're in. Um, we're north of Brown Springs. Um, wow. Very hood out here. We gotta get dad in the back seat. Yeah. Two guys looks too threatening, way too threatening. Yeah. We gotta have you up here. I don't know where we could, this is probably not the best place to stop, but. No. I had no idea this side of Birmingham was kind of like, like this. It's pretty hood out here. Gotta get those stupid signs put on the truck. The, co the company that we've talked to has still hasn't got around to it. Yeah. It's been over two months and they still haven't got any of those stupid signs done. We're gonna have to find somebody else in Montgomery to do it for us. That place, yeah. they're not really taking their job too serious. Little shingle roof on it and everything. Don't look bad at all. Dude, this is so hood out here. It reminds me of Americana back in Louisville. Yeah. This is just run down, man. This is so hood out here. Absolutely hood. We're kind of in the East Lake neighborhood, north of East Lake. East Lake and Wahoma. I hope I pronounced that one right. So, like, if you're driving through here minding your own business, you usually don't have a problem. The problem is, one, we're obviously recording because we have a camera on our dash. That's not a good sign ever, you know. And then I got that over here. You know, our car looks aggressive because it's a. It's uh, kind of, you know, we got big wheels on it and it's jacked up in the front. Our car looks aggressive. We have a camera recording. Um, just all that just makes a horrible combination of stuff. And then we're two guys in the front seat, so it's definitely 
um, too much attention drawn toward us, you know, what we're doing here. So all the, all those things combined make for a really nasty uh, combination of stuff. So it's not like if you're driving through here minding your own business, you're usually going to be okay. That's the little hangout spot right here. That's deep. That is a deep hangout spot right there. But again, it's like we're kind of bringing it upon us. Um, we're here in East Lake now. Um, we're kind of bringing it upon us by, you know, having the cameras out, oh. having two guys in the front seat, and the way our car looks so aggressive. So, like, if you're in a little, you know, Prius or something, and you're just minding your own business, you're going to be okay. But we look really aggressive. We got too much going in the wrong direction. So, definitely, if you roll into a neighborhood like that, you're going to get scoped out. So. That was very dangerous, and um, you just you never know how your presence may be perceived. Perceived, so you just gotta be on alert. Like I said, what we do with these videos is definitely dangerous, no doubt about it. You go into a neighborhood, you don't know if they've had recent drive-bys, if they're going on it with the ops, you don't know what they got going on. You know, so. I guess I said that way they clean them. Look at the little greenhouse, babe. It's beautiful. It's pretty. They, I guess they're painting a lot of these houses black. I mean, I'm like, better cut them, Yeah, they paint them black. Looks nice. With the shingle roof and all. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you definitely got to be careful when you uh, drive into these neighborhoods. Because you don't know what's going on in that neighborhood when you go through. They could have just had a retaliation go through. And they're expecting something to come back. You know, you don't know what. So you really got to be um, careful. Well, it's their neighborhood. You're the outsider, so. Um, again, if you don't do anything to draw attention to yourself, you're usually okay. But um, we're kind of the ones that brought attention to us about what we're doing. So new house is right here. That's good that they're building new houses. I mean, that means that there people actually want to live in this neighborhood for some reason. Yeah. That's always a good thing, you know. It's sad to see a neighborhood when the houses start going vacant. They don't put new houses in, you know. That's never a good thing, you know. Like, you won't see neighborhoods where they're building new houses. New houses are going in. Um, it's a good sign for the neighborhood, so... Definitely, um, and um, unfortunately, violence is up throughout the entire country. Um, from from uh, Miami to uh, Alabama to. New York, I mean, the entire country is gripped in a wave of violence right now, um, mostly due to, um, I think, the, the end of the lockdowns. It's really, people are just boxed up. They've been locked up for a while. And they're just now getting a taste of uh, freedom again uh, because they've been, you know, locked up and, you know, whatever was brewing from before, now people are able to get out and about. And it's, it's been horrible. It's like, uh, you know, people have been stressed out, boxed in. I mean, there's a wave of violence throughout the country right now. I mean, a wave. So don't think um, it's it's a horrible time to go to shows, car shows, events, anything of that nature. You need to just stay away from crowds, uh, nightclubs, anything where people are gathering. You really need to stay away from it. Um, really really need to stay away from anything if there's people gathered um, maybe outside a corner store or at a club or at a party Poor people are just like I said the country's in the grip of a violent wave right now so my advice to everybody is don't be going to parties don't be going to events you know stay home uh, stay away from parties crowds anything that can get you um, around other people 
because the country's in a, in a wave of violence. Uh, I think 2011 is going to be the most violent year on history for the United States. It's going to pass whatever was going on in the 80s and 90s and all that. It's going to be way worse. It's really... And it's not just one person anymore. It's, it's crowds. I mean, people are just going nuts. I mean, in Miami, there was about, what, 20-some people in one place. Um, so just stay away from crowds. Don't go to parties, especially at night. If you're going to do an event, do it in the daytime. Know everybody that's going to be there. Know when it's time to leave. Because it's not... Um, the country, like I said, look at that house. I love what they did. They got like a garden going on. They got a pedal stickers on it. Interesting. <laughs> Dang it, Katie. <laughs> Dang it, Katie. I can't so the country's in the middle of a violent wave, and you need to um, you need to take note of that. You know, don't go to crowded places. Just kind of avoid any place that's crowded. Use common sense because it's not a joke out there. From Florida to Alabama, New York, everywhere. The whole entire country is in the middle of a very... Pensas casa en Kentucky. ¿Te acuerdas? ¿Cómo se llama eso en Kentucky? ¿Cómo se llama No part the wall. Um, Park. Not Douglas Park. Yeah, Douglas Park is like that. Douglas Park is like that, but so this is the street where we got chased out of, right? No. You just got when they followed us, was right around here. We gotta get out of here. Huh? We definitely don't want to drive back to that street again. They're not they're not gonna like that. No. Just kinda get up out of here. Yeah. Um But yeah, just use your common sense, you know, because right now the country you know, people think because things are opening up that things are gonna get better, it's gonna get worse. That's a Southern uh, Museum of Flight. Right there. Espera, no has visto o no? No has visto, man. Aquí, man. Right there, man. It's kind of a dead end neighborhood, but these neighborhoods, like up against airports and stuff, are usually a lot of Spanish people. You hear me, Bobby? Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Blackbird, yeah. So cool. Dang, ain't that cool stuff, man? That is awesome. Dude, that is so cool. There's a bunch more if you drive around the outside of that, but I don't know if we want to. Yeah, that's some cool stuff right there. Let's keep driving, though. Rain clouds. See, you notice, like, I have a good instinct because I, I then I tell you when we saw those crowds of people, mm -hmm. I said I didn't want to, I, I felt comfortable driving through that crowd of people. Yeah. Sure enough, I knew it. But we don't mean no harm, we're just doing our videos. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, if, where, the, the, where I live, if somebody drives into my neighborhood doing something suspicious, I would do the same thing, and so would my neighbors. So it's just a normal thing, I guess, but very dangerous, no doubt. Look at these clouds, man. And Birmingham is a very dangerous city, so one of the most dangerous cities in the country. And we're in a time period where it's never been more dangerous than now, so it's a lot, it's a combination of a lot of really bad stuff right there. Those tornadoes on that? On those clouds right there? Uh, it looks like it's falling down. I know, right? Don't it? Go in this neighborhood real quick. 65th Street North and 36th Street. This looks pretty, um... Any time my neighborhood, like, this neighborhood is completely isolated. The neighborhood here is completely isolated from everything else. It's kind of... Oh, wow, look at the rain. That is so cool. Man, I love my papi como caca en la montaña. Wow. That is so freaking cool, man. Look at that house. <laughs> oh, that is neat right there. That's like yellow. That is something else. Wow. Hold on, y'all gotta see this. Hold on, hold on. Y'all gotta see this house, man. That's some, look at that yellow house right there. 
<laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's a good view for like a regular residential neighborhood. This neighborhood, you can tell it's cheap, you know? It's because it's isolated. They put highways all the way around. And anytime you know, they built the airport on one side, highways on the other. So this neighborhood's kind of boxed in between uh, 59. Anytime a neighborhood gets boxed in between an airport and a highway, it's going to go to crap because mm -hmm. it just becomes isolated from everything. So I kind of knew this neighborhood. Just by looking at it on a map, I could tell it would be kind of rough back here. That's neat, though, that they did that. Yeah. And they got a really cool... Imagine sitting there and just watching that from your front porch, man. That's cool stuff. Yeah. That is a great view. That's one thing about Birmingham. Like, even poor neighborhoods have just incredible views. We're gonna get on 65 Street. Wow, that, look at that rain. Can you imagine showing here on that front porch and watching that rainfall? Wow. These little houses, like every last one. That, dang, that one's open and there's stuff inside. That's that's hood right there, man. Hood, hood, hood. You notice how like the, the, the house is like empty inside? They knocked the door down and we've got to get the YouTube uh, signs on this truck. Yep. It is way too dangerous without it. If that company, it's been over a month and they still haven't done it. Like they don't want to do it for us for some reason, you know? For some reason they just they don't want to do it for us, so forget it. Yep. This is hood out here, man. Kind of south of the airport. Really, I know it's rough. You can tell it's rough. Like, I love the rain. Nothing like watching the rain come down. Love it. Just absolutely love the view of the rain coming down on the mountains. Great stuff. Hey, if you're in a place where you, where you don't have any topography, oh, we gotta go right here. We gotta go right to the left. I try to take a left. We gotta go right. Wait for this light to change. Hopefully nobody gets behind us. Yes, there we go. We'll go right now. When you don't have any topography, you can't see that. But there's mountains in the background and stuff. I mean, you can see the the rain clouds coming down and everything. It's pretty cool. So this is 1st Street North right here, and we're now in um, the neighborhood we're in. We're back in that same neighborhood we were earlier, so we just did a big giant loop. Let's go this way. 1st Street North. Yeah, we're here earlier. Let's just take this turn right here. And go this way. Look at this rain. Wow. Awesome rain clouds. Thunder. Scary, huh? This will take us to the Woodlawn neighborhood. This is just an impressive little thunderstorm going through here. This area is known for a lot of tornadoes. The, the south is now the new tornado alley. Used to be the you know Oklahoma, Nebraska, all that. This is the new. Let's say hurricane. Tornado alley. Yeah. I've been in Florida too long. The tornado alley. Pacific Seafood. You're seeing, like, sitting in a neighborhood like this. In a, like, little neighborhood like that. Their seafood's gonna be awesome. So, the East Lake neighborhood, man. Woohoo! Right back there. That's, that's something back there, man. Birmingham is a big city. It's got a lot of neighborhoods. You know, a lot of them neighborhoods you don't want to play around in. Kind of like gentrified but it's also hood too there's new buildings going in but look at louisville kentucky that means nothing to me new buildings going in means nothing louisville kentucky perfect example a bunch of new buildings prices went up it's still louisville it's not any but edge is worse now than before at least back then people were friendly in southern morgan and morgan for the people who don't want to get a job <laughs> you know, Morgan right there, man. Now we're in the Woodlawn neighborhood. We're kind of like, we're still on the, yeah, we're still on the east side of downtown. And towards Avondale. Entonces aparece al barrio de Luis Pixamado Woodlawn, ¿te acuerdas? Sí. 
Uh, ironically, there's a neighborhood in Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky called Woodlawn, which surprisingly looks identical to this. Entonces, es interesante. Esto tiene muchos barrios diferentes. Muchas variedades de barrios. Ok, el sun's out. Son palomares de arriba. So we're, we're gonna, now approaching the Tom Brown Village is up ahead, which is another housing project that's uh, notoriously dangerous. We did videos there recently. East Avondale. We've done videos through here before. Big old bungalow. Now it's a used car dealership. You can see the skyline in the distance. A little bit of rain. The Morgan and Morgan buses. Out here, y'all. Housing projects. Tiene muchos puntos libres, que hay muchos barrios que están en Turquía, tú sabes, comercial, abandonado, así. Me parece mucho a Rubio. Kingston. 
gonna skip Kingston and go to East Birmingham because we've done a lot of videos in Kingston already, so we wanna give other neighborhoods in the city a, a glimpse. So to the right of us is Kingston, but we've, we've done a lot of videos there. We wanna keep switching it up and do other areas, be fair to the rest of the city. Show the rest of the city, not just one neighborhood. This, this reminds me of like Dixie Highway in Louisville. Yeah. Like 7th yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like identical to like 7th Street, Dixie Highway, Shirley. Yeah. Shively. Mm -hmm. East Birmingham. That's what the video is going to be called, East Birmingham, so I might as well show this stuff. East Birmingham. Ah, tu barrio tan bueno, papi. Buenísimo. No, tu lugar bueno. Barrio tranquilo. No, tu lugar tranquilo, serio. Todo está en orden. ¿Qué más quieren? Tu lugar tranquilo, serio. Yo, yo el lugar es bueno. Y limpio. No, eso sí. Limpio, ah. limpio. <laughs> we are so wrong. We ain't right. We ain't right. This is a big building. We're in the back of this here. So we're in East Birmingham now. It's probably what the video title is probably going to be like East Birmingham. It's all about East Birmingham. I love to see the rain in the distance. That's so cool. This is really run down through here. Lots of abandoned buildings. I feel these are just run down. It's interesting how like some, some neighborhoods are getting investment and some neighborhoods are definitely not getting investment. It's very hit or miss, very contrasty. Very, very contrast neighborhoods. That's a Maria, man. I like the design. It's yellow and it's green. I call it yellow greenhouse. Oh, this is horrible. Look where that truck is parked. You can't see nothing coming around that edge. Horrible parking spots. Can't see anything. Very run down coming up through here. Rosado, I mean. Yeah, pink. Rosado, that's Spanish for pink. More of these Morgan and Morgan buses are everywhere. Oh yeah, graffiti. So on the south of us, we got some streets here in the 30s. Passing the streets in the 30s, heading into a more commercial type of neighborhood up ahead. Which is kind of more close to downtown. We're on uh, Richard Arlington, heading towards downtown now. This will take us out of the hoods and into downtown. Lots of businesses and commerce around here. City of Iron. Whoa. You see the skyline over there? That's probably it for residential neighborhoods. If I can make a north turn into Norwood, I probably won't. 38, 34th right here. I can run right through, uh, towards downtown now. side hoods uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video and there it is 45 minutes through East Birmingham in the past our Birmingham videos have done really well so I, I want to guess this video will probably do really well as well so thank you guys all for watching it Love make sure you like and subscribe like and subscribe for sure we're out